Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be looking at a new cool feature, which is the Hugo skeleton theme. It helps you get started with Hugo a little bit faster and it's also great for testing. For this video, you need to have the latest version of Hugo installed and Visual Studio Code set up. I've got a video on how to install Hugo along with everything else you'll need. That link's above. On completing this video, you'll be able to create a skeleton project which doesn't have a theme in it. Add a skeleton theme to that project and also create the same setup but without a theme directory. So I've opened up PowerShell in a directory where I'd like to create the project. I use the command Hugo new site and then I put the name in so we'll call it skeleton and it's been created. However, we haven't got a theme in it, but we'll have a look at it first. So if we right click and choose open with code, have a look, all the folders are created for us. We've got a hugo.toml Hugo file, but we don't have any themes, layouts, uh, content. And that's where the theme comes in handy. We can now open up a new terminal We'll run Hugo new theme. We'll just call it my theme. And if we have a look in there, you'll notice we've got some content and some layouts. Uh, it's all been set up for us. We're then going to go into our hugo.toml file and explain um, that that's the theme we want to use. So we'll type in the key of theme. and we'll use my theme. So we'll save that and we can run Hugo server and control click. And then we've got uh, the site set up, the skeleton theme. There isn't a whole lot to it. It is super basic. If we have a look at the baseelf.html, you'll see we've got the bare bones in there. And we've got our head set up with CSS, JS. The basics are ready to go. It's been noted by the Hugo developers that they've deliberately left out intermediate and advanced features, and this is just for really simple testing. If you'd like to set this up with more advanced features, that's something you have to do yourself. So now we'll have a look at doing the exact same thing, but without using a theme directory. So this time we'll run Hugo new theme and we'll call it skeleton no theme dir for example and specify the theme directory as the base of the project run that it's then merged the two together and i'll put those in the description for you We'll then open it up in Visual Studio Code. Have a look in the Layouts folder and you'll see it's all been merged into the one project. We're not worrying about that themes directory anymore. We can go to the terminal. We can run Hugo Server and control click. And we're ready to go. You can start developing Hugo site from there or you can run some simple tests. So that's it for the video. Remember to hit that like button, hit subscribe and the bell notification. I'm always releasing new videos every week on Hugo and other modern web technologies. And you'll find a heap of other videos on my YouTube channel as well as you'll find me on Skillshare. It's all in the description. See you next week.